order. I call the honourable member for Riverina and the parliamentary secretary. Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. Yeah, the good old National Party. Great to see the member for Richmond there, lover of the National Party. Good to see the uh, member for Wakefield there. He's lasted this long, Deputy Speaker. But it's always a pleasure, always a pleasure to see the member for McMahon sitting right opposite. And the member for McMahon in this uh, matter of public importance talked about uh, Labor's record as opposed to our record. And of course, he was the Immigration Minister. Uh, and, and in the financial years, July 2010 to June 2013. He was a bit like the Helen of Troy, the face that launched a thousand ships. Not quite a thousand, but 602. 38,096 illegal boat arrivals came on his watch. More than 38,000. But let's talk about a few members of the other Labor Party front bench. We've got the member for Graindler. Promise roads couldn't and wouldn't fund them. Luckily, the Deputy Prime Minister, uh, the member for Wide Bay and the Nationals leader, is getting on with the job of doing what the member for Graindler couldn't do. The member for Watson. Pinched water from my farmers and, and other irrigation farmers in other electorates too. Kept buying it back. Uh, made, made farmers account for every single drop of water, but, but then wanted to buy all this water back and did so for the environment which they knew they could never deliver. Then we had the member for Lilly. Debt and deficit were his trademarks. Absolutely. We had the uh, member for Maranbadong. The member for Maranbadong. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad that, uh, that the Assistant Treasurer and the Prime Minister today announced that we are going to, we, the Coalition, are going to uh, deliver on our commitment to improve the way unclaimed money in banking accounts and life insurance policies is managed. But the member for Maranbanong, when he was the Minister for Financial Services in 2012, the previous government reduced the period of time that inactive bank accounts were declared unclaimed from seven years to three years. And I've got this report from the Harvey Bay Independent. And, and it writes, it's May 31, uh, 2013, the family of a 95-year-old Harvey Bay pensioner who had $50,000 forfeited from a bank account because it hadn't been used for seven years is warning others to be aware of the laws. Craig Dish resident Jan Powell said she was shocked last week when she went to check the status of an account her mother, Doris Osborne, opened in 2012, uh, 20, 2002, established to pay for her own funeral costs, and found the balance had gone from $49,000 to what, what do you think, member for Lionel, member for Page? Zero. zero. That's it, zero. $49,000 to zero. And we heard from the Treasurer today talking about the unclaimed money, $550 million. And the member for Oxley was yelling out during the thing, oh, well, you know, where are you going to account for that? But it was 156,000 bank accounts, 156,000, and it's theft. It is absolute theft. We, we, you talk about the Labor Party, the live cattle ban. On the night of 7 June 2011, the, the $700 million a year uh, live cattle trade was just stopped, just like that, absolutely, because of, the, because of a Four Corners show on the Monday of the previous week. What an absolute disgrace. You, you look at the Leader of the, the Opposition, the member for Maramalong, he's shallow, he's see-through, he's superficial. The Australian public are onto that. They are absolutely onto that. He's quick to criticise but offers absolutely no alternative. His party is divided. There are, the member for Sydney wants his job. Uh, and he only offers weak leadership. But this government is listening. We're getting on with the job. We've, we've scrapped the carbon tax. We've scrapped the mining tax. We're building the roads of the 21st century. Warren Trust is doing a great job of that. But what have we got opposite? We've got a, a, a Labor Party who don't ever actually ever say, ever tell us, ever tell us how they're ever going to fund anything. They might come out, they come out all the time and they carp and they whine and they carry on about everything, but they never offer any financial alternative as to how they're going to pay for anything. We know, how they're going to, we know what they're going to do, Deputy Speaker. They're going, to, they're going to up taxes. They're going to reintroduce a carbon tax. They're going to do all of those things which hurt families, which hurt business. There's, there's nobody on that side has ever probably really run a, a fair dig of business. We know that, but we are the party of business people. We are the party of business people. The coalition is building a strong and prosperous economy. Yes, the National Party member for Griffith. Yes, we hold the record. That's the coalition of the largest infrastructure spend in Australian history. We know that the Education Minister is a fixer. He's a fixer. In fact, there's 89 other fixers apart from the, the uh, Minister for Education on this side. Because we're, we're fixing, because we're fixing the debt and deficit legacy left by that side opposite. That side opposite. By investing in infrastructure, in building in the roads and the water infrastructure of the 21st century, we are creating jobs, opportunity, reward, 
We are getting on with the job of restoring this country to the great country it can and will be, left absolutely and almost ruined by those.